Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week we're trying to get the bonnet side sorted on the card. See you in a minute. Cutting the uh, pieces that will go underneath the sides between the nose cone and the uh, cowl. They've been cut down from a larger piece of beach. Just need a bit of tidying up, cleaning up on one face, and uh, we can start and put it all together. Fitted the side panel to the frame at the bottom, the same as I did the scuttle. I'll run through then and drill it through to there with the bolt and a nut, and through to there. I think I'm going to put threaded inserts into the either side panels, and then it can just pull it all together when it's uh, pinched up. But I'm just cutting the side panel now to go into that. This, this side is relatively easy, now that I know I don't have to um, put louvers in, I can put those, retrofit those, um, but on the other side of course I've got the uh, exhaust coming out sort of from the middle area in here, so there's going to have to be a bit of cutting out and faking around there. That's about right for there. Now I'm just going to mark the height. We can cut that to suit. I'll do the same as I did with that and leave any slight protrusion above the rail height so that the bonnet will slide into the gap that's left. We'll call it about there, see what that is. Okay. That's it. That leaves a, just a slight trough now for the bonnet timber to slot into. It all helps make a neater joint. lines on everything. I think we're okay. What I'm going to do now is sand all this down flat. So there's a slight raised bit there. And then we can attach that panel to there. And then the question is whether I'm going to put dummy ones inside 
that I'll just screw on after the whole thing's been fixed. Bit of a luxury, but it might be useful to be able to hide things like wiring or anything else I want to inside. And again, it makes it all look as if it's an aluminium solid shell. But I think we'll just do these front and back connections next. ready to bolt in now just putting normal nuts and washers on at the moment I'm not going to worry about shape proofs until um, we get towards final assembly at the moment it's hardly likely to shake itself apart, I hope. Okay. Just now do the other side and you don't need to see that. Gives me a decent fit I think. The original panels I've just noticed on the photographs are actually fixed in each corner. So I might go down to a small, like an M4, similar sort of bolt to the, uh, these that I'm using here, like a button screw, and just screw the panels to inserts there. Again, it would make it easy just to get them off for painting and the like. I'm just working on the side panel uh, below the bonnet on the near side of the car. This is where the exhaust will exit. It's rather a strange exhaust in that it, it is almost made out of flat sheet material to start with and it gradually changes into the circular shape of the pipe coming out backwards. So I, I think I've got a reasonable chance of making the basic shape in my one of my favorite sort of modeling materials which would be plastic card or something like that and then I can just build up on the outside edge where it starts to turn to a circle I can probably do that in filler and smooth it all in so that's okay um, I've got a cutout for the air cleaner on the inlet of the uh, there's a gauze which is on the inlet of the carburetor by coincidence I've marked that up off the drawing and it comes out as being almost identical to the size of the air cleaner housing on the um, Lonson engine which I probably won't be using anyway so I may well use that as like a backing plate to the hole and then I'll just put the gauze over the front so we'll have a what looks like the inlet <coughs> 
uh, and then underneath there are, I've got to sort out by measurement on the real thing I think because there aren't many photographs taken of this area behind the, rear, the front wheel there but I think there are six or seven louvers along there and that's where I'm going to have to start and cut these things down a bit because they are at the moment these are slightly too long by probably 20 or 30 mil but again I'll worry about that later what I do want to do now is just check how I'm going to fix these louvers and I'm going to try just with a plain super glue to start with and the reason I'm doing it now is because uh, if it's not going to work um, I'd rather find out now before I've glued them all on, sprayed the car and then found that they fall off and leave gaps. Um, so I'm going to just have a go with some of this mitre bond just as a rough guess and then I can leave this for a couple of weeks, month or whatever knowing that if it does fail I won't have lost anything because uh, it won't have been used in anger if you like so I've just got one of the scrap ones that I'm using there will be a job to get these things on I think in, in a sort of equal and upright manner but we'll see probably just need a little bit of fettling afterwards but. so I'm just going to leave that now I'll probably chuck it outside for a bit and just let the weather get at it just make sure that whatever I do has got some longevity in it I've had a further think about the fixing of the panels on the bonnet sides and I've sent off for some M4 threaded inserts as I mentioned um, and I've drilled and put those in and I've got some very nice little pan head screws that should emulate fairly closely the screws that are in the or the fixings that are on the actual car itself I'm just popping those in um, to test it now and try it for a fit but I think that's a, a suitable way of doing it uh, I could have glued it and indeed it would have saved a lot of money and probably weight and all sorts of things but this is where I'm back to this conflict between um, the model maker in me and the cycle carter that I actually would like to do it properly so those can go in now and I can worry about detailing louvers and the like later on there are some bulges as well to go on here and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fix those they will either be um, vac formed or resin cast or something turned in wood I really don't know yet they're like half bullet shapes almost little fairings but at the moment that's secondary this is principally a matter of getting the panels done so that I can fit them permanently and then move on with the cart to get it mobile first and worry about the pretties later on and again of course I've got to take all the paint off this we will do with the sander later on get it back to aluminium and then hopefully when it's ready to paint we'll be able to just um, etch primer it and away we go I've also got some bigger inserts which I'm going to fit as well which will take the, which you put in the nose cone and in the scuttle for these two fixings that connect the two. It just reduces the amount of nuts and bolts we're going to have to put in on reassembly if you like. It'll just be a case of screwing panels together and screwing them on. But 
you won't have any extra bits lying around that you need. So that's that one done. As I say it's ready now to take any when I do the bonnet I'll just that'll be the same sort of material like that with the hoops on it and again that will just fall slightly short and give me a nice tight fit line, shot line like that. That'll probably be just glued on to the bonnet itself don't think there are any fixings on that, we'll see. It'll just sit in there. Like that. Good. Go and try it on. So that's finished the side panels really other than detailing. Got the gap now for the bonnet to sit in. The front panel is screwed through inserts to the side panels. The scuttle is screwed through inserts to the side panels and the side panels screw down to the frame as well. So everything's pretty rigid now and it's got a reasonably good fit on that I think. Um, so the next job is to get two pieces of timber cut like that and then two profiles of the end less two mil for the die bond and then I can just roll die bond over that and we'll have the whole of the front end bodywork done. I might not do that next I'll see have a think about it because I want to move and get this scuttle position and the seating sorted next as well but that's um, reasonably good morning's work got all the cutouts done on that side for the exhaust and the air cleaner intake now that's got a bit more of the bodywork starting to come together and the thing is at the front at least starting to look a bit more like uh, the Austin 7 racer it's supposed to. So I hope it was of interest, look forward to seeing you next week, we'll be doing something different on the cart and I hope to see you then. Bye!